733 days after my mom died, 45 days after my dad eloped with the stranger he met on the internet, 30 days after we then up and moved to California, and only seven days after starting as a junior at a brand new school where I know approximately no one, an email arrives. Which would be weird, an anonymous letter just popping up like that in my inbox, signed with the bizarre alias, somebody nobody, no less. Except, my life has become so unrecognizable lately that nothing feels shocking anymore. It took until now, 733 whole days in which I felt the opposite of normal, for me to discover this one important life lesson. Turns out, you can grow immune to weird. 2. Jesse A. Holmes, jester567 at gmail.com From Somebody Nobody, Somebody Nobo at gmail.com Subject, Your Wood Valley HS Spirit Guide Hey there, Miss Holmes. We haven't met, IRL, and I'm not sure we ever will. I mean, we probably will at some point. Maybe I'll ask you the time or something equally mundane and beneath both of us. But we'll never actually get to know each other. At least not in any sort of real way that matters, which is why I figured I'd email you under the cloak of anonymity. And yes, I realize I'm a 16-year-old guy who just used the words cloak of anonymity, and so there it is already. Reason number one, why you'll never get to know my real name. I could never live the shame of that pretentiousness down. Cloak of anonymity? Seriously? And yes, I also realized that most people would have just texted, but couldn't figure out how to do that without telling you who I am. I have been watching you at school, not in a creepy way, though I wonder if even using the word creepy by definition makes me creepy. Anyhow, it's just... You intrigue me. You must have noticed already that our school is a wasteland of mostly blonde, vacant-eyed Barbies and Kens. And something about you, not just your newness. Because sure, the rest of us have all been going to school together since the age of five. But something about the way you move and talk, and actually don't talk, but watch all of us like we are part of some bizarre National Geographic documentary, makes me think that you might be different from all the other idiots at school. You make me want to know what goes on in that head of yours. I'll be honest, I'm not usually interested in the contents of other people's heads. My own is work enough. The whole point of this email is to offer my expertise. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. Navigating the wilds of Wood Valley High School ain't easy. This place may look all warm and welcoming with our yoga and meditation and reading corners and coffee cart, excuse me, coffee with a K, cart with a K. But like every other high school in America, or maybe even worse, this place is a freaking war zone. And so, I hereby offer up myself as your virtual spirit guide. Feel free to ask any question, except, of course, my identity, and I'll do my best to answer. Who to befriend? Short list. Who to stay away from? Longer list. Why you shouldn't eat the veggie burgers from the cafeteria? Long story that you don't want to know involving jock jizz. How to get an A in Mrs. Stewart's class. And why you should never sit near Ken Abernathy. Flatulence issue. Oh, and be careful in gym. Mr. Shackleman makes all the pretty girls run extra laps so he can look at their asses. That feels like enough information for now. And FWIW, welcome to the jungle. Yours truly, Somebody Nobody. Two, Somebody Nobody, Somebody Nobo at gmail.com. From Jesse A. Holmes, Jester567 at gmail.com. Subject, Elaborate Hoax? SN, is this for real? Or is this some sort of initiation prank? a la a dumb rom-com. You're going to coax me into sharing my deepest, darkest thoughts slash fears, and then bam, when I least expect it, 
You'll post them on Tumblr, and I'll be the laughing stock of WVHS? If so, you're messing with the wrong girl. I have a black belt in karate. I can take care of myself. If not a joke, thanks for your offer, but no thanks. I want to be an embedded journalist one day. Might as well get used to war zones now. And anyhow, I'm from Chicago. I think I can handle the valley.